All right, guys. We got one of my machines in the shop today. We took this bad girl out for a ride uh, last weekend, and under a load, it seems to be bogging out real bad. Um, idling, uh, and when you're revving, sitting still, the thing revs up, runs good. But as soon as you put under under a load, it's you know it's one of the jets in there is plugged up, you know, so. This is an 04 Honda TRX 400, but uh, today we're going to at least pull the carburetor off, uh, clean it out, make sure there's nothing plugged up. With these 400s, they have a lever under here. We're going to pull the seat off to get access to this stuff. And what's nice about these, it pulls the seat and the fenders and everything out of the way. I wish all quads were like this. This is a very nice feature. So if you ever need to clean your air box as well, you know, your air box is right here these four clips also very accessible and nice I think we're gonna have to get more access to this thing what why oh joys tools oh, I probably should have watched a YouTube video on this okay so this is your carburetor this is what we're trying to get to here you obviously you have your air box your air goes in here this is uh, a funky air intake that actually apparently comes up underneath the tank it's where it draws air in to the air box your air box then filters the air it goes into the carburetor there's two main things that hold the carburetor in place there's a clamp here that it uh clamps onto the air box itself and then there's another clamp down here where it clamps onto the engine um i don't know if you can see that but there is what appears to be a rounded off, stripped out, tons of fun bolt right here. That one. So somebody's had this thing apart, either that or it's just packed full of mud. I can't tell which. But we are going to do lots of patient working on that particular bolt. All right. So I think what we're going to do... And this is probably not completely necessary, but what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull the rest of this plastic off. If you have a flathead screwdriver, just get underneath of it, pop the first part up, and pull that plastic off. Uh, we got two more up here. Um, looks like we've got a couple bolts holding this plastic on. Um, your front cowling, uh, your front cowling will just pull off if I can get it to pull off. because we're gonna need access to all this. So we're gonna take this whole front piece of plastic off. Um, more access to this thing. So I can see particularly more problems that, you know, or that are probably here that I can get, uh, you know, resolved after much frustration. Okay, so I'm going to take tank off. Usually these tanks, um, they got a couple of straps in the back, but it looks like they have a bolt here and a bolt over here. So you got two 10 millimeter bolts here, uh, two rubber loops here that you just, um, you just unhook like this. Okay, so as the story goes of joy of working on these machines, I don't know how many times I run across stuff. I know this is a how-to video, guys, but... Please, if you don't know how to work a wrench or you're using power tools on small bolts, just just stop. You know, shut this video off. Just go back to the computer work or whatever you were doing. Go back to folding clothes. Stop working on your machine. Okay. Somebody has run this bolt, this particular bolt down in here so tight that it's the threads are all stripped up. Even sometimes if you like apply some pressure on the bottom of the bolt to push it up as you're 
trying to back it out. It'll sometimes grab some threads. Nope, not happening. The other one came out easy peasy. This one, she's done, dude. So pretty much at this point, I mean, unless you guys know of some other sort of magic thing that pulls bolts out when they're stripped like this, I mean, you can almost, yeah, I can freely turn this thing tighten with my hand and it does nothing. I mean, it, it, it's pretty much cooked. All right. So I think I'm just going to leave the tank on right now. I think I have enough access to get what I need to get to. It's going to be a little tighter, but we're just going to roll with it. So you got all these hoses and doodads. Most of that stuff's going to stay on. You just have your throttle cable and stuff up here that we're going to have to uh, take in this uh, air box clamp off and then see if we can get to that wonderful one under there I pointed out earlier. So. Oh, I got it. 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 Yes. Okay. Goodness. Okay, so this one's loose. This clamp's loose. The one down there that is all boogered up. Uh, that dude in there is also loose. So pretty much now what you have left is your gas line, which is right here. Uh, they usually have these squeeze clamps. Um, you can see it from above, right down in there. That right there. Uh, you just take some pliers, squeeze them together, pull the hose off, and then you'll also have your throttle cable. <clears throat> but um, I don't know how if I show you what I'm doing. Uh, your throttle cable's here, so that's gonna go down to the side of this thing. Most likely there's like a little pulley on the side, um, a little cam wheel. But uh, once we pull this carburetor up and out of here, and then we'll take that plastic cover off, take the cable off the cam wheel, and then we'll have the carburetor off. I think that's it. Okay, goodness. So I ended up taking the air box out. You know, there's probably like some professional out here watching this and they're like cringing the whole time and laughing. That's great. I don't do this every day. I figure it out as I go. So the only way to learn is dive in here and get it. So now that we have like 90% of the quad torn apart, I mean, you know, you could probably do some other things while you're in here too. You know, check, I don't, whatever, clean things. But anyway, so the carburetor is now accessible. Like I said, the only thing at this point is holding it on is your throttle cable. Your throttle cable is up here. Like I said, there's probably like a little cam wheel in here. We're going to pull this cover off, check it out. Your air box is only held on by three bolts. There's one on each side, and then there was one in the back, and so that pulls right out, and this plastic pulls out of your air box. All right, we got two Phillips head screws. Let's take these off now. All right, let's see what treasures we can find under here. Okay, sure enough, like I said, as you push your throttle, it's gonna open up all these uh, all these dudes in your carburetor. So to get this throttle cable off, as you can see, it comes down here from up where your thumb is. It rolls around here on this cam, and you just all these things are all they're all the same. And it doesn't matter if you're working with a cable for a bicycle. So you gotta you gotta push pressure up here, and then pull this little thing out right here. So that way your cable is released. It looks like we're gonna also have to um, take this, this bolt out here that holds it in place. So we'll take this bolt off and then we'll take this over to the bench. We're gonna take the bowl off this thing and see if we can get to these jets and clean this thing out. Okay, so here's your carburetor. It does carburations. So on the bottom of all these carburetors, you have a float bowl and a bowl down here. This is where you're gonna be able to access all this stuff. So there's normally four Phillips bolts that hold these in place. We have one, two, three, four. This one might have some extras. We're gonna see, we're gonna take these off. Uh, take these four float bowls screws off here. Um, when you're doing these, you should, anytime you crack these seals on these carburetors, you should have fresh gaskets. Uh, there's usually an O-ring in here. 
you should actually always have a fresh o-ring i can't tell you how many times i've done these and just to clean the carburetor out and you put them all the way back together all that frustration of putting the carburetor in and out only to find out that that gasket won't seal anymore that little o-ring now that you've broken the seal leaks that's not a fun day you got to do it all over again okay so now i've got those bolts off and i broke the seal okay okay now that the float bowl's off you've got access to your jets all right we're going to start with this um i always forget if this is the main or the pilot I don't know, i'm sure you guys will tell me oh goodness Okay, so when you pull these things off, you want to look through them. There'll be a number on there. This is a, I can't see what the number is, 48. It's just to telling you that uh, the size of the hole here. Um, we're going to take this next one out too. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Okay. We have another one that's down in there that you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to get out. I have around here somewhere. Man, this stuff doesn't look bad. So hopefully there's just something I'm not seeing. We'll clean these. Hopefully this takes care of the problem, guys. Normally you want to try to see if you can see light through these holes and uh, holding it up to the light, I see nothing through this thing. So this is probably our problem child here. So let's find something that we can, uh, I'll probably start with just blowing some compressed air through it, see if I can dislodge whatever's in there that way. Ideally in this situation, um, I'm, I was kind of in a pinch. I'm hoping to get this bike together. It's Thursday. So we could ride uh, Saturday. And I know I can't get a carburetor kit. There's no local shops that have carburetor kits. Uh, normally, guys, when you do these, order a carburetor kit. Replace the jets. Replace the needle in the seat, which is underneath this float bowl. Um, uh, like I said, fresh gaskets so they don't leak. I did blow some compressed air through this thing. I can see light through it. I'm hoping it was whatever was in there is now dislodged. Um, I might run a little splash of carburetor choke cleaner here just to be sure. And then hit it with the compressed air one more time. This is a good time too to uh, clean up any buildup you might have in here. Sometimes there's dirt and corrosion. Uh, look it over. Like I said, try to keep this stuff as clean as possible, guys, when you're doing this. Again, don't go crazy with tightening things. Just, just got to snug them up in there. Okay. Jets are back in. Let's, uh, oh, this is another good thing to always check. I'm going to go ahead and hit this also with some, uh, some good old cleaner. Just watch your eyes, guys. Wonderful. Get a little blast of air. Okay. I'm gonna carefully put this back on here without trying to knock dirt in this carburetor. And slide this puppy back on here. Oh, watch your float bowl pin. Okay. Well, she's all back together now. Yes. Okay, we're gonna put this thing back on the quad, guys. Put our plastics back on. I'm gonna clean up the air box, probably clean the air filter just to eliminate any more possibilities of anything else, you know, potential problems. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, clean the jets out, make sure everything's clean inside there. 
put it back together. Ideally, like I said, a carburetor kit will come with fresh jets, fresh gaskets, fresh everything. Do it all. Change it all. If you've got it apart, do it. Okay, so putting this back together, I did notice one thing. Um, I put the throttle cable back on here with this lead end here. Uh, as you can see here, when I push this throttle, it's moving, I don't know, a quarter of a throttle, right? Look what's happening. Okay, there's that much play in this throttle. Obviously, we can take that out because you might not be getting a full, full send on this sucker. So the easiest way to do that is right up here. There's a little rubber dude on here. This is what I'm talking about. You can adjust this throttle cable out, back it out to try to get some of this cable slop out of here. This thing's probably just a little stretched out over the years from full throttle in this puppy so much. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Brother, now look. Now we have like nothing, no play. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna put this cover back on. Throw the carburetor back in with a violent scream. Woo! She's back together. Not without struggle. Together. I just pray that this was actually the solution to the problem. We shall see. Maybe it needs a spark plug. But we're about to fire it up. I have not started it yet. It's completely bone cold. So oh, let's see if she'll run. I just turned the key on. So key on. Give her a little little choking action. Oh, choke is up, I believe. Let's see. quiet and dusk here in the neighborhood so obviously can't have that <laughs> 